And we're back. This was the Heroclux talking about stuff. So Heroclux talking about a horrible, well, it's something that can be really good if used properly. But in the case of where I work and a bunch of other people work, uh, especially like, uh, you know, people work, um, nowadays, uh, there's a huge problem. All right, here's the issue. It says, yeah, there's a sign, the sign here basically says, no headphones allowed. All right, it says it in, uh, English and Spanish, I believe. And here's the deal. Uh, yeah, when you're, you know, I, I work a job where there's a lot of um, conveyor belts all over the place, you know, and you know, the different heavy, heavy machinery, things like that. So basically, when you're you're in a environment like that on the work floor, as they call it, it makes sense for the, you to be like, hey, you know, uh, don't wear headphones because because basically, if you're not paying attention, you could either get your your clothes get caught, get your clothes caught in the conveyor belt, and that'd be bad. Or you could run into a piece of of, of machinery like like there's engines mm, that are there's certain conveyor belts that go that we have to walk underneath, mm, okay? And uh, yeah, there's certain parts of places where it's like you're supposed to walk underneath, and places you're not supposed to walk underneath because they're too, they're, there's not enough clearance, you know. So I'm like, okay, yeah, if you have headphones, you know, in you're not maybe basically paying attention to your work environment, you're not really paying attention to uh, where you're going. You could run into those. I actually did run into one of these engines. Uh, because I was looking at my cell phone, because I was like, well, like, I was waiting for a, a very important message. I was like, oh, okay, crap, I gotta look at my things. Oh, yeah, no, I gotta go help out with these boxes. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, crap. Mm, cell phone away. The cell phones aren't allowed either, okay? You know, to be used on the work floor, except for, for emergencies, mm, you know. But, yeah, mm, but and that's fine. Mm. But when you're saying, okay, what's going on now is that my job, uh, they're saying that they don't want headphones in the building, mm, all right? And that's just a huge problem, okay? In comparison to their old rules, where it's like, yeah, do not wear headphones on the work floor, mm, okay? Which was a good rule, mm, because it makes sense. Uh, but with this one, it's like, do not have headphones in the building, mm, you know? And it's also saying, uh, again, kind of an interesting bias, because it's like, yeah, leave your headphones in your car. Mm, yeah. I don't have a car. Mm, I, don't, I don't have a car. I have uh, a luggage carrier and two totes mm -hmm. I, I, I basically drag around with me when I walk around that place you know I'm going to go wait go have lunch or dinner uh, in the break room use the restroom change out of my winter clothes which I might not have to do now it's getting a bit warm now mm -hmm. so I might have to do that I'll figure something out I'll figure out I'll figure out what I'm doing but yeah because you know, I might have to come home at night so it might be pretty cold still so I'll say what's going on but still you know, I don't have a car. Mm. Okay, I have to take an hour-long bus ride if things go like they're, they're supposed to go. Mm. I have to take at least an hour-long bus ride. Mm. You know, uh, and then another bus to get home. Mm. All right, and uh, now they're saying, yeah, uh, no, no, don't, don't take, don't bring headphones in the building. Mm. <laughs> you know, the security guards are saying, yeah, if you are, you could get written up. <laughs> You know, you get written up. You have to sign different forms saying you have head had headphones. You get in trouble basically. And if you get in trouble at a place like this, then it's more like it's easier for you to lose your job. <laughs> and and uh, I really don't want to lose my job because, of course, uh, I think fifteen an hour because they that's what they choose to pay people. <laughs> you know. And here's the deal: fifteen an hour, and my my mom and my brother would be very ticked off if I lost my job. Uh, without getting a new one first, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, basically, so I'm going to abide by this rule, is, I'm still saying it's not cool, because of course, you know, headphones can be really nice and helpful when it comes to just relaxing in the break room, mm -hmm. you know, you're in the break room, you're, you're trying to eat your food, you know, you're just hanging out, you know, drawing or whatever, uh, are you are you in danger of running into any conveyor belts, <laughs> Or, or, or other machinery when you're sitting at your table eating your food or something like that? No, of course not. Of course not. No, no, you know, this rule is just ridiculous. Okay, and you know, I was tempted. I did actually smuggle some head, some ear, little earbuds in one day, right before the law rule went into effect. Right. And basically, the next day, I was like, okay. And then it was like, oh, so it was time for me to go. And I was like, going like, yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't be smuggling. That smuggling is lying. <laughs> it is. Mm. 
So it was like, yeah, you're basically like smuggling them in. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to just have them where they certain you know, the security guards search for them. <laughs> you know, search. They search in. Look inside your uh, totes, your containers. You know, if they're not see through, sometimes if they are, uh, they'll look inside them to make sure not that you're not you're not taking you know you're not taking any stealing anything. All right, that you're you're uh, from the place. And I was like, I'm going to just put my earbuds in the, my top tote mm, that I drag around with me. And they always look in those totes. So, you know, like, they'll look in there, they'll find those things, and I'll get in trouble. But here's the deal I'll say, Yeah, I don't have a car. <laughs> you know, why don't you leave me in your car? <laughs> I don't have a car. <laughs> you know, I was going to say that. But then they're like, Okay. We got time. Okay, so I was like, okay, you know, and then I'll, t- I'll tell them what's going on, tell them what the thing is. But you know, interestingly enough, uh, the security guard, lo- you know, looked didn't really look as thoroughly as he usually does. Mm-hmm. You know, he probably didn't notice them because mm-hmm. they're see-through totes. Mm-hmm. So he probably didn't notice them. But then he's like, you know what? Mm-hmm. You know, the ru- it was uh, the sixth. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the rule takes place, you know, goes into effect on the 7th. <laughs> so, yeah, technically, the rule had not gone into effect yet. <laughs> but they were warning people, yeah, don't have your headphones, you know, in the building, you know. Because, um, yeah, you get in trouble. I'm like, uh, <laughs> you know. So, but, yeah, yeah, I basically got to learn how to uh, work, do what I can without this, without, you know, do what I can by just listening to the phone's audio. I do have something that might be able to not that'd be a loop considered a loophole to the headphone rule because while it uses headphone speakers it can't be put around your head you know it basically there's these speakers that you plug into your phone headphone jack and they can give you a slightly better sound right and, you know, when you put it up to your ear with your phone, the whole phone, you know, it basically looks like you're taking a call, you know, and you're, you know, put it up to your fa- your head and you can listen to it. And it probably has stereo sound, too. But, you know, it's still not as good as headphones and all the all encompassing gloriousness that is the noise canceling headphones, you know, especially when it's like late at night, you have some drunk jerks, you know, you got silly people talking way too loud, saying whatever they want to say about whatever, you know, politics or whatever. And it was like, you know what I'd like to do, <laughs> you know, put on my headphones, listen to, um, you know, some dead mouse, <laughs> another, you know, cascade, another night out, another dance floor, you know, there's just a story in there, move for you, <laughs> you know, something like that, just go, just, you know, uh, here we go, another night out. You know, just it was just so cool to just be like, ah, 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 Trump, oh, 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 Biden, oh, 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 oh. it all week, <laughs> just to get out. No, just to be like, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Where do we come from? <laughs> do I know your name? And just be going off, enjoying that while they're just messing around, breaking the rules of the bus, which is not to talk too loudly. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. Uh, and also, I have to be careful. Uh, bus rules uh, say you're, you're supposed to, if you want to listen to music, you should have headphones. Mm, but it's like, yeah. Um, so I got to basically be careful with that noise or the la- noise level on those headphones. So, well, the, that's when the, the phone speaker and whatnot. It's um, not fun. It's not cool. It's overreaching and it's annoying. And we'll, I'll definitely talk about it, but I'm going to do it in a way where I don't get in trouble, lose my job, and take my, par- my family off. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, now it's time for me to go and uh, have a nice, you know, few-hour nap before my first day of work starts for the week. I'm going to go do that, and then I'll see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and Art, when I'll basically uh, work with more stuff. The Breath of Fire, the Breath of Fire stuff's going pretty well. Uh, hate mail stuff's going really well and, and making more hate mail, you know. Like, I'm just playing easy. It's just playing commenting on things I want to comment on. That causes people to hate on it. And, uh, yeah, there'll be more hate mail. It's great. Mm, so, see you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and art. Gotta go and figure out how to do things. Mm. Even with stupid rules like these. <laughs>